what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll try to get through this video as fast as possible, because I give you every bit of information you need to complete these. In the description right now, you will find the first two skins, Ghost, which I think is probably the, one of the most best looking skins in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, I might be partial to it because it's a skull and I'm a huge skull person. I have a skull as a logo Thorn is the other one you'll find down there These are the first and second skins you unlock when you purchase the battle pass and I never You know say anything about purchasing stuff I don't think you should because there's so many problems with this game as you'll see in this video more problems with this game But you buy the battle pass for 10,000 cop point or 10 or a thousand cop points. Excuse me I always want to say 10,000 um, you get 1300 back, so that's a win-win situation for you. And here's a better look at Sandstorm. Again, this is the one you will unlock. You see I had the gold crossbow there. I unlocked that shortly after it came out. I have a very, very good strategy on unlocking this. If you have not seen that, the link to that video is on the channel. Make sure you check it out. I also have the gold right shield unlocked too. Um, I've gotten a bunch of comments about how my video has helped people to make it very easy and give you some very good tips on how to unlock but or not unlock but get both of these weapons gold. Now we'll go ahead and move on and take a look at our objectives. Four objectives and I'm going to give you tips on these objectives so make sure you watch the whole video just don't go see what it is. I'm going to give you tips on how to make this a whole lot easier for you. Our first one is mark 15 enemies with the recon drone again with otter as the correlation operator you need to make sure he is selected or you if you try to do these challenges they will not count and here's the card card you unlock for objective number one tree try shot excuse me again showing three different pictures left right and forward but again with this you're going to notice a hiccup in the game because, because they don't check the stuff they just push it out they develop it and push it out and don't bother checking it now we'll go ahead and move on to objective number two is get 15 kills using a submachine gun with Otter as your collation operator. And here's that skin. Again, this is one of the better uh, skins for Otter, I think, because it's dark. I'm, I'm really partial to dark skins. I think when you're running around in dark places, it makes it a little harder for the person to see exactly where you are. So again, I my personal belief is this should have been the objective number four skin that you unlock but it is not but again I think this is one of the better looking skins for Otter. We're going to move on to objective number three almost done here folks we'll get started in the game. Objective number three is get three kills using lethal equipment and again I'll show you how to get this done extremely easy it does not take that much time at all to get this done and here's the voiceover when you unlock that objective. There you go. Have a little sleepy. There you go. Have a little sleepy. Get a little sleepy. Not one of my favorites, but it's not that bad. And our fourth and final objective is get five kills, get five headshot kills, excuse me, with Otter as your collation operator and their urban outfit. And I'll show that here to you again you know I they, they did ghost ghost the outfit the last one was dark that was a perfect fit and you can see this one here it's got a little bit more light to it and again I think the darker outfit should be last but to each is his own you can always pick whatever you want once you unlock them and I'll spin him all the way around so you can get a good look at him And there we go. We'll go ahead and move on. Again, do not forget to accept Otter as your mission or none of this will not count. I am almost completely done with, well not almost completely done. I got like 60 missions left of season two and like five left of day one and season one. I'm going to be completing 100% of the calling card slash missions that are available in the game. 
Let's talk about the recon drone before we get this started. The tip on the recon drone is you want to add tune-up. By adding tune-up as your perk 3 option, it's going to recharge your um, field upgrade a lot faster. You see you got the 40% up top plus additional 7%. If anybody knows why we have green print on this, leave a comment down below. I don't understand if this is a permanent thing, why didn't they just change the 40 to 47 and leave it with that? Um, and they could also, they could have highlighted the 47%, uh, percent. but again, it, it kind of gives you the impression that you did something special to unlock this extra part of this, and I have no clue what it is because I haven't done anything special to unlock these special abilities. And also, don't forget, you're going to need to select the Recon Drone. Now the purpose of selecting the tune-up, like I said, it's, go it's going to charge faster and you see the recon drone has a slow recharge. And actually I'll show you in a game, even with the tune-up, it's going to take two minutes before you can use it again. And we will go by the, the time in the game and confirm that again. It takes two minutes from the time you use it and, and to the time you can use it again. And it takes two minutes once you start a game before you can use it for the first time. You can see there, it keeps saying build upgrade not ready because I'm seeing how long it takes. You see we're at 8 minutes and 15 seconds, so that's a minute and 45 right seconds into this game. Now I'll look at the scoreboard here again. And once it gets to 8 minutes, I will try, try to see if it will work, and you're going to see, sure enough, it does. And there it is. Now, I was underneath that thing, so I couldn't use it. And then when I came out, I got killed. But as soon as I respawn over here, you can see I'm going to pop it right back up. Now, this is how this works. If you did not use the recon drone, or if you have not used the recon drone at all, you can mark enemies multiple times. So when you mark them, you're going to see a red square on them. You can kind of see a diamond forma formation, like a baseball diamond formation. See, when I go over here, it's going to mark them as red. Now, they only stay red for so long. Once that red square goes away, you can mark them again. See, it just went away, and I just marked them again. So you can mark them multiple times. There's actually people on top of the structure right there that I did not see during gameplay because I was focused on the ground. So again, you can mark these people multiple times. Now, you'll see some of the squares that's got like a an X in them, those people cannot be marked. They're running the perk, um, I think it might be EOD, that makes it so they can't be uh, marked. I might be wrong about that. You can see right there, we got two of the 15. So we're we'll going to another game, or going to another session here. I'm gonna go up and right away I'll mark somebody. You wanna keep keep a, a uh, an eye on the people you mark. Here's somebody coming up. See, that's three right away. And again, once the red squares go away, you can mark them again. So see this one here. I'm waiting for this one here to go away. So this guy can't go nowhere. He can't run or anything. So he's going to be an easy target for me to mark. See right there, the square just the red square just went away, and we're going to mark him again. It's the third time this recon drone I've marked that, that one person. Okay, finished off a daily challenge there. Now we're going to see I got 10 of 15. So I picked up 8 with that one. Again, we're just going to wait for the time. There we go. Go right back up. Nice when you got a couple of them that's right next to each other. It makes it a lot easier, especially if they stay in that same area, which they do. Here, let's go mark him. Come back over here. By the time I come back over here, the red square went away from him. Get this one inside here, waiting for him to come out. We'll mark him. That's the third time we've marked that guy. 
And once they re once they spawn into the game, it doesn't let you mark them right away either. You might notice that when you're trying to complete that. And there we go. Here's objective number one. Finish. See, look at that, that outfit. That outfit looks so good. That black outfit. That is what you get when you unlock objective four of Ghost. So again, see, now we gotta get 15 kills using a sub machine gun. Two right here. There's another one. And get two more. Two more right here to finish off this game. Got another one right here. The person come right back. I guess and get his tag, and I took them out. So that's gonna give us six of the fifteen that we need. Remember, I spent a lot of time in the air. Um, with the recon drone, wait for the recon drone to recharge. So we need nine more kills using a sub machine gun to finish off that challenge. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reward we unlocked for completing objective number one, which is the tri shot calling card. Okay, before we go in here, you can see, I want you, I want you to see that green square that says calling card. That means you got a new item. We go into the calling cards. Not only do you not see a green square, when we go down to the try shot for otter, you see there's no green square on that either. So again, it's just more proof that they, they do not check the stuff before they release it. And if you're releasing the entire season, you gotta check, make sure that one of the objectives calling card is there and they should have seen that. So we'll go over again so you can see that is for sure the try shot um, otter calling card. And we'll go all the way down to the bottom just so you know that none of these calling cards have a green square on them showing that I unlocked something new. In fact, when we actually leave here, you're going to see that green square is still there. So, is that a mistake? Did I unlock something that the game hasn't given me? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Because you clearly saw that, that nothing, not even the tri shot calling card for Otter that I actually unlocked had a green square on it. And right there you can see it folks. You can see the calling card has been added, tri shot Otter. And you can see I still have the green square next to calling cards. That's supposed to tell me that I have a new calling card, but one does not exist. And, you know, it's stuff like this and the update is the reason why I say you should not be purchasing anything out of the store because um, you're basically rewarding bad behavior and I absolutely refuse to do that. Now we're going to move on to get the rest of our our kills. We've lost the lead. Changing max. There's two. That gives us eight now. Get an assist on him. This one's nine. Need six more kills. That's ten. There's 11, 12, 13, 14, and one last kill right here, 15. And there we go, folks. Objective 2 is now completed. So I'll lay down just to confirm while we're still in the game. You see now we are on an objective 3 of 4. Which, which we have to get lethal kill equipment. And this is what I was talking about, folks. You see right here, didn't even make it all the way back to the lobby. Don't really even know if you get XP because they cut you out so fast. Um, I didn't check it, and this was about a quarter to one, so it was actually early. I actually had enough time to get another game in, depending on what kind of game it was. But, again, I got cut out, and I'm going to show you I was stuck in an endless loop of it telling me that I had to restart the game because there was a new patch available slash update, whatever you want to call it. It's actually an update. It says connecting to Xbox Live. Downloading the update. Okay, so now we're downloading the update. You saw the bar go all the way across. We've downloaded the update slash patch. They call it a patch in one part of the system, they call it an update in another. You know, 
Is it a complete download? Is it a patch? You know, I guess you're downloading a patch. So we're going to load the game back up again. And and what's more frustrating is that a lot of people was complaining about this numerous people because you can go into comments of people they've actually replied to and you see right there dev air 6323 I took a snapshot of this I sent this with other pictures never once did I get a reply not one time and it's just it boggles my mind the only way I was able to fix that was I had to completely uninstall uh, the Modern Warfare and reinstall it. But we'll talk about that here in a second because you're going to want to make sure you watch the rest of this video because I'm going to tell you the reason why that if you got some time you're not going to be playing the game you need to uninstall your game delete everything and reinstall it delete all your content don't delete any of your, uh, your, data, your main data because then you'll lose everything at least that's what I've been told. Just uninstall the game and reinstall it and you'll find out why. But again, we have to get three kills using a lethal equipment, and I choose to use the cocktail, because I think I might have already said this earlier in the video. By using the cocktail, you can throw it on the ground, you throw it up against the wall. If somebody runs past that, you can still get a kill. It's going to burn at that location for a little bit of time. So that's the reason why the cocktail is the best thing to use. Also, when I was doing this, we had... Um, to get 15 enemy kill 15 enemies with equipment so I'm able to get the daily challenge done and get the sticker also get uh, my objective done all at the same time so here's my first one I mean, rust is just a fun map to play you know we've got we had shipment and we had shoot house that's all I can't tell you last time I played a regular map in this game shoot house shipment and now rust is all I ever play because the maps in this game is just absolutely pathetic and they're, they're, they're just not fun to play shipment shoot house and rust is absolutely the best maps in this game I feel and I don't understand why they would not leave shipment and uh, shoot house in the game you can see now we got to get five headshots with Otter as our coalition specialist. But I also want to show you, you can see right there that I didn't show you. I went ahead and got the 15 kills I needed in that same game using just the cocktail to complete this challenge. Because it's just absolutely so, it's so fun to throw that cocktail. It literally is. Taking and watch people try to jump away from the flames is absolutely hilarious. Domination, I feel, is the best game to play because you can catch somebody trying to capture one of the flags and pick them off. I'm going to shot just a little too early there. There was the first one. Again, second one. And this person here, I pick off my catch him coming through the door. That's three. Switch weapons over to the assault rifle. That was four. And watch this person here. I picked this person off like three times in a row. It's just, just not right. They need to fix this spawn. Because this just is not right at all. But again, if they would have actually played this, they would have known that. So are they telling you they want you to spawn kill? Is that what they're telling you? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So now we'll go and take a look and all of our objectives are completed. We've unlocked the urban operator skin for Otter. Go ahead and take a look at that. And again, I'll show you all four sides to him. And definitely not one of my favorites. Also, if you made this far in the video, I'm also going to, sh also going to show you Otter's finishing move. And actually, I almost got the guy twice, the same person. And uh, the first time I went to go after him, um, I got killed, but I picked him up the second time. And here is Otter's finishing move. Just a beat down taking place. 
catch this guy right here and I go into the motion of beating him down. You can see I got my platinum right shield on there. Then I catch him again in the same game. And again, just place the beat down on him. There you go, there's Otter's finish the move. Now let's go let's talk about this again, folks. This was the problem that we had with the update. And multiple messages I sent over to Activision. I sent them a DM. I even created a ticket. And they've actually taken the website now, and you can't even look at your ticket history. You used to be able, once you sign into your support account and you go into your account, there was an option there where you can go see your your tickets. I think that's what it's called. I think it was called tickets. That's not there no more. So, but I, su I submitted that, never got a reply from it. And so, after two hours of not getting a reply, I decided to uninstall the game. And I'm thankful I did, and this is the reason why I say you might want to do the same. When I went to install this game, I was at 147.2 gigabytes. That is a lot of space for one game. And you got some people has consoles that's only got 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. And to take up almost a quarter of that with one game is insane. Now take a look at this picture. I went and uh, pulled this off the Xbox. You can see right here 144.7 gigabytes. So, and again, I told you I was at 147.2. So that is over three gigabytes of either trashed files or files that's not needed, and or bad files. So, we're in the season two. I guess what maybe halfway done or so. And look at Black Ops 4. I keep Black Ops 4 updated just in case I go and play. So anytime there's an up uh, update or download, I download it. 110 gigabytes for an entire season. And we're roughly halfway done with this, season, uh, this year's of Modern Warfare. And we're already over 30 gigabytes more than the entire season of Black Ops 4. Look in the upper left hand corner. That version of Call of Duty, because you can't say the whole thing, otherwise, uh, you know, YouTube will basically kill the video. 76.6 gigabytes. Just absolutely insane. You know, look at Dynalite, 30 gigabytes. You know, Gears 5, 55 gigabytes. Yeah, it just makes no sense why you take up so much space on somebody's console for one game. It really don't. But again, folks, take a look. You see right there, your mind's 144.7. Look at your console, look at your storage device, and see how much space is being used by your version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And see if there's a huge difference. If there is, you know... Take it, uninstall it, reinstall it and everything. And so the best way I'd say to do that is maybe do it before you go to bed. And when you get up, it'll be done. That's one way you could do it. Or if you have to go go someplace, and you'll be gone for a few hours, depending on what your internet connection is, do it, you know, do it then. If you've got a slow internet connection, then I can understand you not want to do that. But nothing else. Um... I think this is what I'm going to start doing, uh, and maybe you know, when the next season comes out, it's going to be another 60 days gone by, uh, I will uninstall the game and reinstall it, um, that way if there's any problems, hopefully um, I'll avoid those problems as well as any bad files um, I could take off the console or any files that's not needed. But again, only time will tell. So if you made this far in the video, I'd appreciate it. And also, do me a favor. If you have made this far in the video, leave a comment down below and say, Activision, fix your game. Comment that down below and I will give you a shout out in a future video.
Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for watching. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.